Good morning, it's Robin O'Brien again. Just got back from a bike ride. I got to go ride my bike. I don't always get to do that because if I wait too long, it gets hot. But it was still relatively cool at 8 a.m., so I got to go. I'm so thrilled. Uh, let me move this and see if I can get less of the ceiling. Oh, well. That's the ceiling. That's my ceiling. <laughs> anyway, it was so pleasant to go on this bike ride. And uh, I stopped and got a couple of books for the kids at the three free book place. They've got these little things sitting on poles. Take one, leave one, whatever you want to do. So I did that, and I've got to clean them off and then read them, read them to the kids. I got one on health and one on... Uh, something I can't forget. It's about a really strong black man. What's that guy? Da, da, da. There's a song. Anyway, it's going to get cleaned off. We're going to have YouTube music to go with it. It's going to be a deal. It's going to be an event. At least I hope so. Then after the bike ride, I started, well, I had to take the trash out. And then I started trimming trees again and threw that in the brush pile and came in and made my water and now I'm talking to you I thought these were sweet they made them in Sunday school yesterday it says hope I guess it's backwards to you I don't know but Ari wrote that she has a friend I won't say the name just for privacy sake that uh doesn't know Jesus and she says she talks to her about Jesus and all the great fantastic things that he did and that happened in the Bible and this friend's never heard a word of this and I didn't even know that was going on so see there's a lot we worry I worry and I just think all is lost all is lost and my granddaughter's witnessing to a friend man I tell you that really that gave me hope and then I thought this was kind of sweet. Jackson did this one. And it says, Mom, you can read it backwards or forwards. <laughs> he said, I didn't know how to spell Nana. Now, I don't know if he was trying to spare my feelings or if this is for his mom. <laughs> but he's that charming and sweet. He didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And then they did this art thing and... Linux had a <laughs> funny thing in the bathroom, but I guess that's not not appropriate. Oh gosh, what did I want to talk about? The sermon was about being joyful in all circumstances, and I'm not that mature. I am far from that mature in my Christian walk. I'm going to talk to my sister about it um, as I sit right now I don't see how I know that's not possible for me I know that's it says rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice um, but I, I gotta check that out because I don't know if I agree with my preacher on that or not So we'll see. We'll see how that turns out. Um, let's see. What else did I want to talk to you about? What do you think about, about joy even in tragedies? Having joy. Maybe there's something I don't understand about it. <clears throat> but I'm going to listen to the sermon again. We get to watch it online, and that's good. So it gives a chance to digest it some more. And then the youth led the worship yesterday, and it was so, the songs they picked were so good, and it was such a blessing to see the youth be that talented and that good and that able to lead in worship. I just, that just thrills me, and they were so good. Yay! You know, we've got the next generations coming along. So that blesses me. 
got a lot of fun things coming up this week. Wednesday night, we get to go to the pastor's yard and have a party with him and everybody, and his wife, of course, Grace. Uh, that's going to be fun. I hope I'm not too tired to go, and I hope I get the kids to take them. And then Thursday is Water Wars in the church. I think it's in the front of the church, and I don't even know. It sounds exciting. I guess they're going to throw water balloons and other things. I don't know. I've never been to a water war, but my grandkids watch enough video games that they love hitting. That's for sure. They're ready to knock somebody down any minute. With all that, they, they reenact what they've seen on the game. And uh, it's not something I would want, but it was my fault yesterday. Because I laid down and rested while they watched games for about, I think, two and a half hours. Then they went in the little stock tank pool and started acting them out. And it was rough. And it disturbed me. Because maybe that's why so many young people can be a part of Antifa and go and fight and tear down buildings in their teenage years and destroy people's properties. It's just a theme I have. It's an idea. My idea, it's not yours, I understand that, but I think that may be why they're able to go do that is because since they were five or so, they've been studying these violent games and violence is, they think, leads to good things and fun times and, and then and when they wind up in jail, it's a sad thing and when they destroy people's property, it's a really sad thing. People that have worked all their lives to have a business and then they get it destroyed. That's not right. Surely none of you think that's right. I hope not. All right, well, Snickle is playing with his old sock that we stuffed with catnip. <laughs> He's kind of going a little nuts, which I guess that means the catnip is working. All right, you have a blessed day. As my pastor Ryan would say, keep your mind on heavenly things. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I want to do. Keep my mind on God and his goodness and our future in heaven. And the fact that Jesus earned our salvation on that horrible cross. He paid for us. He paid our debt. We have a debt we could not pay. And he paid a debt he didn't owe. And he did that because of his great love for us. And I am so thankful for that. I am so grateful he did that. Because sometimes I really mess up. And he paid for that. And he paid for it for you too. So God bless you. Have a good day. Keep coming back. Wait, that's Glenda Sully. <laughs> My ending is holla. But please subscribe and share and like. I think that would be so neat if I got a lot of views. Make a comment. I'll try to get back to you. Holla.